Hey guys, welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Profit Protector Pro, which is pretty much what I think the best repricer for Amazon sellers. So let's jump straight into it. And what we've got here is my actual dashboard. This is the, um, so I recently transitioned over to uh, Profit Protector Pro or PPP as we'll call it from now on. Um, about two or three weeks ago and I've been absolutely loving it ever since and I really had to do a video um, just basically showing my experience and showing why I think it's really good and by the way guys if you decide you like uh, PPP from the video um, and you want to sign up I've got a link in the description you can get a 14 day free trial so you can try it out risk free um, and that's an affiliate link which really helps out the channel and helps me out. So if you do like the look of this, please do sign up in the link in the description. So this is my actual dashboard and we can see here, um, it just gives you like a brief overview of like how many listings you've got in the buy box, how many at your minimum price, maximum price. And the thing that I really love is this thing on the right hand side here, the 30 day PPP boost. And what this is uh, basically saying is that it's uh, PPP has made me £387 extra profit over the buy box. So compared to other repricers, and I've just moved over from STK, um, which I've been using for a few years now. Um, what PPP does is it really tries to push Amazon to the limit and see how far it can push the price up, but yet keep the buy box. And that's kind of a really important concept. Um, that's going to make you extra money. And what it's done in the very short period that I've been using it, it's made me nearly £400 um, more than I would have using another repricer, which is kind of crazy, really. Now, the other thing I really like about PPP as well is how easy it is to use. Like once you've done the basic setup of just like linking your account and doing some extremely basic stuff, you can basically um, just choose whatever strategy you want for each listing you've got. And it's as simple as that, just choosing the choosing the strategy, choosing the rule, and that's the end of it. Whereas other reprices, you have to set up really complicated rules for each different strategy. It's a nightmare, to be quite honest with you. Um, so unless you really like diving in and creating all these crazy strategies. But then at the same time, it still doesn't do the sort of profit boosting thing, other, re other reprices. So, well, not the one that I've come from anyway, that I'm aware of. So yeah, I thought we'd just go quickly and have a look. Um, we're going to do one of the great things is you can go to the help section. It's got training videos, the FAQ, walkthrough, uh, and it's got the strategies explained. And if we click on that, we can see basically um, all the different strategies they have. There's quite a few of them, as you can see, but don't get overwhelmed with them. Um, I apologize if this is a little bit zoomed in. I've just zoomed it in for the video. It doesn't look like this normally. But yeah, you've got all the different strategies here. And what you can do is you can open them up and see an ex you know, exactly what they're going to be doing for you. Um, and these are all algorithmic strategies, all the ones that have sort of the TM on them. These are the advanced sort of algorithmic strategies that are going to be um, either trying to get you more sales or more profit or whatever you want to do, basically. So if we quickly just go through a couple of them, we can see here that, you know, the super aggressive dominator it's our most aggressive uh, rule and it will fight for the buy box at a truly aggressive rate. It won't drop the price, but it'll do its best to bring that buy, price, buy, buy box price up while also finding a sweet spot and maintaining high buy box sales. So if you've got an item that you're still looking to make money on, but you've got maybe a lot of stock and you're trying to clear it out, maybe it's a replen that sells really quickly. You probably want to pitch it, you know, choose something like the super aggressive dominator. Um, you've got you know, other, other sales ones, you've got the sort of aggressive sales generator, which will actually drop the buy box. So this is one where maybe it's a listing where you've got loads of stock, you just need to get it cleared. You might even make a loss on it, but you just want to get rid of it. Then you'd apply this rule. And then you can go down and basically you've got things like the balance sale accumulator, which is probably something in between those two. You've got the cautious sell enhancer, which is the one that I actually use. So um, it's still a little bit aggressive. But it basically focuses on, um, you know, increasing profit. So it will work hard to increase your profit. So it will get your know, price above the MF uh, merchant fulfilled sellers. Um, it will generally match the buy box, but it will also then try to push the price up. And that's one I've been using so far. I actually like the look of the profit uh, dynamic profit builder as well. But the point I'm making here is you've got all these different ones you can choose. And no matter what your listing's doing, whether it's a replenishable, whether it's a one time purchase you got for a great deal whether it's an item that you need to just clear out, there is a rule built for you. So you don't have to create your own complicated rule. You can basically select one that's already been built for you. Um, you know, and there's so many of them, 
But the ones with a TM, I think, are all the algorithmic ones. Let's have a look. Match buy box. Yes, yeah, not an algorithmic one. So you want to try and stick to these sort of clever... Um, basically, an algorithmic one essentially means it's going to be using some sort of intelligence behind it, um, rather than just basic rule-based rule, rule based, uh, strategies, which are the ones that are without the, sort of the TM. So the match buy box, for example. Very simple, just match buy box, nothing fancy, not trying to increase sales, not trying to increase profit, doing nothing beyond matching the buy box, not looking at competitors, things like that. So, yeah, really kind of cr crazy, really. And... Um, yeah, just so easy. Once you've got it set up, you can just choose whatever. And what I've been doing going through is, um, you know, just choosing, seeing what items I've got and just basically just selecting the correct rule that I need them for. You know, not, not even rule, the correct strategy, we should say. Um, so, yeah, that makes life so much easier. You've got all these tools in your sort of tool belt to use to maximize your profit or your sales. And if we go in and have a look at my account quickly, I'm going to have to blur some of this out, so I apologize, but... We can look at my settings here and we can see that my default I've got is the cautious sell enhancer. So this is just going to be the default that's set on all my listings. And then from there, I can then basically uh, tweak it depending on how that listing is doing. Um, we can see here on the left, actually, we can reprice in any of the European or even America, um, well, all the countries around the world, basically. So you've got all these different uh, countries that it supports, which is kind of crazy. And you can kind of see my settings here that I've got nothing too fancy. Sleep mode's kind of important, you know, this is where the um, sleep mode, most reprices have a sleep mode, but basically what it does, it will set, it will set the price of your listing to uh, the maximum um, during the very sort of uh, quiet periods, like 2am to 4am. The whole idea being that if everyone does this, then it will hopefully reset prices on listings. And yeah, that's it for the settings. Um, I mean, there's calculation settings as well. I've not tweaked these too much. I've just said it's a minimum 30% ROI, but um, I'm mainly using the min max on all my listings, and we'll go into that in a second. And then obviously using the default rule, but it's good to just have this as a, I guess, a fallback, just to know that, you know, for, for whatever reason something goes wrong, not that it will, um, the minimum it will go to is 30% ROI. Unless, of course, you set a minimum or maximum that breaks that. So if you go to the repricing, we can see here that, unfortunately, I do have to you know blur a lot of this stuff out. But you can see here on the right-hand side, we've got the default strategy, and that's the one I've already selected in the settings. But if I wanted to, I could literally just choose any of these ones here, and then it would immediately switch over, which is uh, really cool. And on the right-hand side, you can also click and view the um, the entire history of this of the product and the, and the repricing for that product. And I've got one here, which I'm going to search now, which is kind of an interesting one. And again, I do apologize, I have to uh, blur some of the stuff out. But you can see here, I've got my min maxes all set up for all my different regions. And if we go into like something like this one here, we can see, um, we can scroll down and see the entire history. I'm not sure how far it goes back, but uh, maybe I'll ask the guys, uh, PPP. But um, we can see, as far as I'm concerned, I can see the entire history here. And we can see what's happened on this particular listing. So we can see when it first started out, it went to 13.28, which was to match the lowest FBA competitor. Um, it kept the buy box at 13.28. The next day, however, if we scroll up a bit, we can see here that we, here we've got the 13.28 match buy box. However, it then moved up to match the lowest FBA competitor. So it went all the way up 100 and sort of 20, 130 uh, there to 14.58. And then what it did is it then realized, hey, we've got the buy box, so we're going to move the price up to $14.99. So what it's done now is it's, we've captured the buy box. It's now going to test the limits of Amazon. It's going to go, okay, we've got the buy box at $14.58. Can we keep the buy box at $14.99? So it does it to $14.99. It looked like we maybe lost the buy box. So it then went down to $14.79. And again, looks like we probably lost the buy box. So then it went back down again to $14.58. But the point is, it's testing the absolute limits of what Amazon is going to allow you to have in terms of price to keep the buy box. And we all know, we all should know anyway, that roughly around 80%, I think the figure is, 85% of all sales happen through the buy box. So it's really important to be capturing that and also not only capturing it, but also maximizing your price as well. And you can see here that, um, again, it's like it's gone here and it's, it, the buy box apparently has gone up now to 1492. So we've matched the buy box at 1492. So we can see here we've already gone from 1328 all the way to 1492. It's been looking, it's always analyzing, always looking to see what it can do to maximize your profits, which is crazy when you think about it. Imagine this is, you know, how much more money you're going to make using a repricer like this. And now it's telling me actually. 
you know, you've set your maximum price at fourteen ninety nine. We can go higher. You know, we want to go higher, but you've set your max, so we won't. But maybe I need to look at this listing now and go, okay. Um, you can see here it wants to go higher. So, um, you know, um, maybe I'll put the price up. And here you go. It says we've got the buy box at the max price, which is crazy. So, you know, we've gone from thirteen twenty eight to fourteen ninety nine. Not to be sniffed at at all. So very cool stuff. And you can look at the history for all your listings um, and see what it's been doing. Um, so there should be no sort of mysteries about what's been going on. So if we go back to the dashboard again, as we said before, we can see I've made an extra £387. I mean, this software, again, link in description if you want to sign up, it's, it's going to pay for itself so quickly, like depending on how many listings and products you've got. But what I've got here is the pricing of this software. And you can basically get this for, uh, you know, a thousand listings or less, which is going to cover 99% of most sellers. You know, I don't have a thousand listings. Um, it's only £36 a month, including VAT. Um, it obviously works in America as well. You can see the US pricing. But in the UK, £36. And that's if you buy the year. But you can already see in less than uh, a month, I've pretty much paid for the software Um the entire year's worth of software from just extra boosting and it's also doing all my repricing for me as well which obviously brings a benefit versus manually repricing so i mean manually repricing is fine when you're first starting out um when you've got like five SKUs, but when you get beyond sort of five SKUs, 10 SKUs, uh you know 10 listings it becomes almost impossible to keep on top and you're going to be losing money you'll be literally you'll be losing money you'll be throwing money down the drain because you just won't be getting as many sales so a reprice is just absolutely essential so i think it's just like super competitive price really good um and you get a, the other thing is what well, you get a 14 day free trial so you know use my link in the description get yourself a 14 day free trial test it out see how you get on really easy to set up if you need any help you can always uh, dm me on discord i've got a free discord by the way guys link in description again come join the community come say hello you can ask me questions if you need help setting up ppp let me know i can always help you out and yeah you get access to these uh, algorithmic and a a algorithmic ai rules um and it's gonna just boost your profit and yeah 14 day free trial so you can't really go wrong um you know no contract your price is guaranteed now you get grandfathered in so the price won't ever go up and yeah it's kind of crazy really guys so if that's something that interests you uh check out the link out in the description come dm me and tell me how you got on with it or message in the uh, in my discord group and tell us what you think of ppp give it a go it's risk-free for 14 days and i think you'll be surprised to be honest at how much extra money you've made i wish i changed years ago um it's probably cost me thousands if not tens of thousands of profit so i'm kind of kicking myself a little bit <laughs> um yeah it's a bit of a shame really but yeah it's, it's awesome guys um i wouldn't be promoting it unless i actually liked it um but i really like it so yeah cheers guys i'll see you in the next video